Hey guys, and welcome to Ring Roost. My name's Taylor, and I'm just going to walk through some of the basics of Ring Roost and some of the functionality and features that it has. So what Ring Roost is, is a hosted PBX system that allows you to set up um, your own business PBX through a simple drag and drop interface. So you can do things like um, set up phone lines, um, answering machines, uh, put in call queues, um, you can even do click to call, all the standard kind of things that come with a PBX, um, voicemails, um, you can even integrate with databases and stuff like that. So um, if, if you don't have an account with us, you can go ahead and sign up. It's really easy to sign up. Um, it's free to sign up. If you want to start making calls, you will have to deposit at least a little bit of money. Um, so when you sign up, you'll come to your dashboard and it, all it has is a list of your PBXs. So you can go ahead and, and go to your default PBX. And this is the main interface for building out your company's PBX. Uh, and what we have on the left here are what we call call controls. And basically they're various controls within a call flow um, and they all contain certain functionality. Um, so if at any point you have a question about it, just click this question mark and a video will pop up and explain what the call control can do. Uh, just to show you briefly kind of how the software works, um, you drag and drop a, a particular control um, and the starting point is the answer call control. This is where the call comes in and after you get a phone number you'll see the, all your phone numbers that are available here. You select the phone number that you want this control to handle um, and then from there you can simply drag and drop um, to another control and this can and what will happen is when the call comes in it'll go through this flow and it'll now go to this control so um, this is a simple the menu is a simple IVR menu so you could do something like um, press one for sales two for tech support um, and then here you add items, you just say one, two, and then you set up, for example, a um, outbound dial to whichever numbers you want to dial sales and um, tech support correspondingly. Um, so with this dial control, you can dial any just regular phone number or you can dial a SIP address um, and the way it'll work is it'll dial both of them at the same time and whichever one picks up first the call will be connected to. Um, now there's a lot of functionality that these controls have um, and I won't go over all of them here but the basics of it is you can um, use the SIP phone to set up a hard SIP phone in your office. You can even connect it with a soft SIP phone or um, any SIP enabled client. Um, you have the capture voicemail control, which obviously just captures a voicemail. The check voicemail control, which is really for you just to be able to check your voicemail. Um, the dial, which dials out. This is uh, the menu control, so you can set up interactive voice response menus. The time filter control, which allows you to select a particular time. If it is within that time, it'll route the call one way. If not, it'll route the call another way. Um, you have the decision control. Um, the decision control actually leverages another feature, which is the ver which is variables. Um, so variables is a is a really cool feature that allows you to uh, embed variables in input. So you can say, for example, if if uh, the from number whoever's calling equals a particular number, you'll route them this way. If not, you'll route them another direction. Um, you can also do this right within your IVR menus and and lots of other controls have this feature. So you could say hi, um, and then as long as you have the C name enabled, you could say from name. Um, and it will actually say hi, and then their name. Um, so that's another feature of the menus. You can also add your own recording through the recordings library. Um, so you just select a file, and you can add it right to the um, right to the menu and it'll play that file back. Um, we have the call queue control which allows you to queue calls so if for example you're waiting on a uh, particular if a particular phone line is busy the the caller will be sent into a queue 
And if you don't want them to wait in the queue, you can set a certain timeout. So this would be after 60 seconds, you send them somewhere else. Um, so this is a great feature if you're running a call center and um, have high call volume. Um, the capture digits control, it allows you to basically set a variable on your board. Again, there's this idea of having variables that you can use throughout your call flow uh, at any time. There's all sorts of advanced functionality that you can do with those variables. Um, the load variables control is another um, advanced control that allows you to make a HTTP request um, and retrieve a JSON object and then populate um, variables based on that object and those variables are then later available in the board. Uh, so what this allows you to do is integrate with all sorts of database systems, uh, any other syst any other pro programmatic system really. Um, and then of course you can send a text message at any point through the call flow. We also have this click to call feature. Um, you can see more about that on the front but basically allows you to make calls um, to your phone um, from a website. So that's just some of our functionality. There's, there's actually quite a few other things you can do. Um, one other thing that's probably worth mentioning is you can add a, I'm going to save this call flow system, you can actually add your own SIP trunk. Um, if you don't know what this is, that's okay. We offer, our, we offer our own trunking services, but if you already have a current SIP trunk, you're welcome to um, go ahead and add it, and the price is is really cheap basically. Uh, similar thing with phone numbers, you can add your inbound uh, phone number. So even if you're not buying the phone number from us, as long as it's SIP enabled, um, you can just um, register the number with RingRoost and it will be available. You just need to make sure that you point your um, SIP carrier to our servers and we have the information on how to do that. So that's just some of the basics of Ring Roost. If you have any questions, we're always available and online. Feel free to just uh, give us a shout either on chat or give us a ring. Uh, thanks and bye for now.